Rain is beginning to move out of the Metroplex. Most of the area is still under a severe thunderstorm watch. It'll elapse in about an hour. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Hayes filling in for Amanda Fitzpatrick. Thank you for joining us. We've got a lot to get to. Nightcap starts right now. And here's your need to know. A change of venue is in order for Allen High School. Officials have been forced to move this year's graduation ceremony because of the cracking issue at Eagle Stadium. Earlier this week, it was revealed that part of the $60 million facility might have to come down. Poor concrete and shoddy steelwork are the likely culprits for the structural problems. The stadium is now off limits and will likely stay that way for some time. Now officials have settled on a new location for graduation. It'll be held at the American Airlines Center on the 6th of June. Tensions mount as we've reached a pivotal moment in the Ukraine crisis. Today, Russia blocked a UN Security Council resolution with a lone vote against it. The resolution was proposed by the United States and would have denounced a regional referendum on secession as invalid. 13 nations voted in favor. One member, China, abstained. The controversial secession referendum is set for tomorrow in Crimea. Residents there can either choose to become part of Russia or create its own independent state. The first openly gay player in the NBA has a new contract. The Brooklyn Nets have signed center Jason Collins for the remainder of the season. Previously, Collins had signed two 10-day contracts with the team. He has appeared in eight games for the team so far, totaling five points, six rebounds and six steals. Collins, who came out about his sexuality last year, has been a spokesman for gay rights. His number 98 has been one of the league's top selling jerseys since he signed on with the Nets. So how excited are you this week? It's still spring break. I'm sure you're ready to gas up your car and hit the road, but there's only one problem. The price of gas ain't what it used to be. Have you noticed gas prices going up in the past week? April, and I would say anywhere from probably about 355 to about 370 a gallon. All right, this is what we call a fail. When you buy a beer, you expect to get what you paid for, unless you go to a hockey game up in Idaho. Upset fans there are suing the CenturyLink Arena in Boise because they believe they're getting ripped off. They proved their point with this YouTube video showing the difference between a $4 beer and the big boy, the larger $7 cup. What they found, the amount of beer, exactly the same, oops. After fans figured it out, they decided to take the arena to court. They're seeking $10,000 in damages. CenturyLink did respond, claiming it was an honest mistake with the cup orders. Hmm, think fans are gonna buy that? I think not. FYI. I eat it, I don't care. Just drop it, it's garbage. You know, that's what we say, it's garbage once it hits the ground. Bust out the stopwatches, folks. The five-second rule, fact or fiction? Researchers from Aston University in the UK think they have the answer. It all depends on where you drop your food. They looked at all sorts of flooring surfaces and found that if your scraps land on the carpet, well, they're less likely to have that bacteria attached. Even on harder surfaces, the transfer was made after five seconds. They also said the longer you leave something on the floor, the better chance you have of consuming something nasty, as if you didn't know. OMG. And you can dance. Move over, Mr. Clean. The material girl doesn't need bleach to give her shower a good cleaning. Her tool of choice, her tongue. Madonna posted this pic on Instagram. It's of her licking the glass in her bathroom. She might have done it to prove a point to the younger generation of pop stars. Her caption read, a woman's work is never done. I should have worn a wife beater, but I like getting dressed up. We are looking at you, Miley. All right, coming up, pitching Obamacare. You have to go where the young folks are. The president has finally struck the right chord to selling health care coverage. You're watching Nightcap, a different kind of news.
Hey, thanks for sticking around. Here are your closing shots. The top stories of the day in 60 seconds. Dallas goes green. A big parade and party celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Formally charged an out of control driver at South by Southwest hit with capital murder. Double shooting, two people wounded in separate gunfire. DPD thinks both are connected. A homicide investigation opened. Officers find the body of a missing pregnant mother in South Dallas. Veered off, Malaysian authorities concede the vanished plane changed direction intentionally. Loosen up, the U.S. is letting go of some of its control over the internet next year. My bad, Target catching all kinds of criticism over this Photoshop goof. Barred from riding, a disabled vet not allowed to jump aboard the coasters at Six Flags. And what Texas used to look like, Dallas Heritage Auctions taking bids on the state's first official map. And the best laid plans are often ruined. That could be the case if the GOP decides to hold its 2016 convention here in North Texas. And those are your closing shots in 60 seconds. Hooters, Twin Peaks, Bone Daddies, the restaurant business in North Texas is getting pretty big these days, but Columbia Pictures is saying not so fast to a new entrant called Ricky Bobby Sports Saloon and Restaurant. Feast your eyes on Ricky Bobby Sports Saloon and Rest Day. Jim, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. We'll see who makes it to the finish line first. I live and die by one motto. And remember, when it comes to intellectual property, if you ain't first, you're last. That's it for us. Thanks for watching Nightcap, folks. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Coming up next, the hardest working man in show business, Arsenio Hall. You have a great night, folks. We'll see you back here tomorrow.